tomorrow's show. Oh. I am never up at this time unless my children are crying. Um, I'm going to do a slideshow now about motherhood because I'm a mother. And um, I'll just explain because you're all up at this time, so I doubt you have children. Um, it sort of starts like this. Um, first, you push out the baby, and then you push out the placenta, and then you're just kind of left with this hole. And uh, pretty much anything that ever made you interesting as a person just falls right out of it. Um, and you deal with it. You deal with it. I, um, I have two children, and we'll talk about that. And um, I'll just tell you, I kind of drew the line at two, because after that, you run out of middle fingers. Um, so we'll start, and this will sort of be um, a slideshow about my demise as a person <laughs> as I became a mother. Um, so actually, here is a picture of me. Oh no, I have to turn it on. That was part of the preparation, really, wasn't it? So I'm in the darkness now. I can't see Jack Diddley Doodah. Oh, here we are. On button. Fab. If I'd still been nursing, there would have been really great cleavage there. <laughs> they went. Um, so this is a picture of me before I had children. <laughs> and um, you'll see that it's black and white, which is very flattering. Um, I had my makeup done and my hair done. And there is um, a twinkle in my eye that says, Hey, my life's all about me! <laughs> um, and then, after that, in the demise, there comes a time when you allow a photograph like this to be taken of you. <laughs> and um, people say to you when you're pregnant, they say, hey, you're glowing. Um, because you look like a fat water retaining sow is cruel. <laughs> so I allowed that picture to be taken. And then um, in the demise, then you allow um, that picture to be taken. Um, no one takes a picture after an 18 hour workout. Yet somehow you become insane and allow it. And really it's because it's all about that thing that I have flipped off. Um, <laughs> So still, they're sort of front and center, um, and then this happens. You allow a picture of yourself to be taken Sunday morning, unshowered, when you're still kind of greasy and shiny. And you've barely made it into the frame. <laughs> Which kind of is where you are in life and how important you are. Um, and then, um, after that, you know, like in a Bruegel painting, that there's something going on at the front that's exciting, and then in the background, there's generally like a horse scratching its arse or something. Um, well, I present to you. <laughs> and that whole day, that was probably my best sign. Um, and let me just tell you too, that was taken at Disneyland, you can see, by Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Um, Disneyland, the happiest place on earth, and yet, you will be presented at one point by your child and this face. <laughs> that is the face of an ingrate. <laughs> talking who about my children but having children does sort of represent and presents to you um, new ways in your life new opportunities uh, for instance this <laughs> is a natty new way to watch TV <laughs> big shoes new no pants just try it <laughs> Um, and I figure when she's like starting college, that's probably when I'll stop showing that photo. Um, and so we, we actually have, we have two girls, which, which ends up being just an awful lot of vagina. Just, 
too much vagina with me. And I keep mine all, I know how to just like keep my vagina contained and <laughs> down low. And, and they don't. So there's a lot of it like that that you can walk into. And more alarmingly, this. <laughs> with it, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm not quite sure what's coming up. What's coming up? Ah, that! that. I went away for a lovely weekend uh, with girlfriends and I had a spa treatment and I had dinner and I had sleep and then I came home to this. I actually walked in the door to this. Bloody babies. <laughs> Bloody, bloody babies. And this is a series, so that's the first in the series, and then this is followed by that, where she just added to the indignity by putting milk all in the baby's eyes. And, and what I enjoy too, um, why I've kept this, is the rakishly upturned milk moustache. <laughs> could be so dairy oriented. <laughs> um, followed by um, this. That's, I'm just showing you that because my child has a really um, strangely long tongue, <laughs> which kind of freaks me out. Sometimes I make her stick it out and then I go, oh, put it back. <laughs> titled this one and it's I blooded my baby and now I'm gonna eat my apple slice <laughs> it's really spooky isn't it cool. uh, let's see what's happening next oh right so I'm English maybe you caught on to that and uh, and one of the fab things that you do here in America is have pinatas it's fab um, sometimes they're a bit gay with the strings. It's, it's like, you know, you can't reward violence with sweeties or something. Um, well, I like the whacking ones. This is a gay string one, but I like the whacking mm -hmm. ones. And, um, and we decided that we'd play a prank on our children, because they love a piñata, and look, look at them, they're all excited because they pulled the string and it's about to open and we filled it with carrots! Yeah! <laughs> moments in my life <laughs> and then we threw candy at them so they wouldn't go all Lord of the Flies <laughs> but we threw it hard <laughs> and so this is actually um, that's just a sweet picture of them I put them in just to show that they can be lovely for moments transcendent moments but moments and uh, really basically um, it's your own fault if you ruin your life with children um, we were at um, there's a the Griffith Park travel town which you're not allowed to go to unless you have children or you're a pedophile um, you can tell them they're the ones without children um, and, and they, there was a little warning sign on one of the cabooses <laughs> and I said, there it is. I've been told. <laughs> I've been told. And that, my friends, is my journey through motherhood by slide. <laughs>